Real nigga shit. Real nigga talking, sit your ass down. What's up, YouTube? You know what it is, Black Guy Reviews, and uh, today I'm here with something different for you. So I ask that you keep an open mind, because I know some of you guys are going to look at this game and be like, ah, it's for kids, this isn't for me, I'm a grown-ass man, and da-da-da-da, because some people seem to think that if a game doesn't use only the colors brown, gray, black, and doesn't have guns in it, then it's not a video game. But you know, if you're one of those people, fuck you. But if you are going to listen, cool, because this is one of the best games of the year. Story. Who reading a book? Rayman Legends is a direct sequel to 2011's Rayman Origins. It uses a gorgeous cartoony style that proves art design is just as important as how many polygons the game pushes. Unfortunately, the weakest part of the game is its story. It's so simple and straightforward that it's only there so that you understand why Rayman is on this adventure. It's just there to basically be there. It's not there to engage you. It's not there to get you lost in the world. You play as Rayman, and Rayman's hanging out with a bunch of blue weirdos. Now, I forgot their actual names, so we're just going to call them Smurfs. With well, these Smurfs, they're being kidnapped by these evil witches, and it's up to Rayman to run, jump, glide, and climb in order to rescue them. That's it. No, really. That's it. Gameplay. Swag, 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 swag. For what it lacks in story and more than makes up for in gameplay, Rayman Legends is the cream of the crop when it comes to platformers. You'll be running, jumping, gliding, climbing, swimming, etc. That's expected. The real star of the show is the level design. No two levels felt the same, and because of that, the game remains fun and refreshing throughout. There are fast levels, floating levels, swimming levels, running up and through wall levels. Hell, the levels felt like fast-paced puzzles, none of which felt hard to solve, but just took a lot of trial and error. You have objects falling from everywhere. The world was sometimes Times tumble forward, walls would cave in on you, you'll be ducking and dodging this all while trying to rescue your smurf friends from cages. Some will be out in the open and others will be hidden. And don't be fooled by the colorful art design either. This is a skill based game where you'll be dying a lot. And it's not a problem because where you die often it will respawn you. The game, it handles exactly like Super Mario 64. There'll be multiple hub worlds with multiple paintings in them and you jump into these paintings which takes you to a level with a certain amount of smurfs to rescue. Collect enough Smurfs and it unlocks a new hub world, plus there are boss battles at the end of each world. All this is complemented by a great soundtrack, and when you're done with the main story, you can go play one of the mini mini games with your friends, or you can attempt one of the weekly challenges. What I hated. No swag, no swag, no swag. So not only is the story weak, but I would have liked to see some voice acting in this one. Another thing, throughout the game, you rescue and unlock new characters to play as. The problem is, none of these characters bring anything to the table. They're all just reskins. I mean, the game has dozens of playable characters, but they're all the same. If each character would have had their own set of moves, it could have added some longevity to this game. Final verdict. Swag, 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 swag. Look, the story is pretty much non-existent. And I have to ask, so what? This game is refreshing. It felt good to play this game. It was very creative. It felt new. And, you know, in a market that's clouded by all these shooters and all these other hyper-realistic games, it was nice to just take it back to where games were more about having fun and being creative. So if you're in the market for something creative, I highly recommend checking out Rayman Legends because this is probably going to make my top 10 list. This is one of the best games of the year. I recommend buying this at full price. And on PC, which I, the one I played, it's only $40. The console is $60. But even still, if you don't feel comfortable paying at full price, I ask, I just ask, when the price drops on this game, check it out if you don't want to pay full price. At least do that for me, okay? Okay, and I know because some of you people are gonna ask. Today's t-shirt was designed by I'm Albert. It features Rihanna repping the Illuminati podcast because she said that that's her favorite video game based podcast available on iTunes today. So subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the t-shirt, I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can buy it. Now, if you're an upcoming clothing company looking for some free promo, I have my business email in the description box below. Send me your shirt, your hat, 
whatever you want me to promo and I'll show it off in a video free of charge. Hit up the business email in the description box below. So what do you think? Did you find this review helpful? Doubt that. But in case you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You know all that bullshit. Also, if you want your music or your instrumental featured in one of the end of my videos, or if you want to subscribe via text message, all that info in the description box below. Thanks for watching, you guys. City needs me.